good evening and welcome to our service from St. Peter's Parish Church. Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty firmament. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his surpassing greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with the lute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today's psalm is the very last one in the book, number 150. Psalms are wonderful and speak more directly to our emotional and spiritual side than any other section of the Bible. They cover all situations and emotions, living and dying, joy and sorrow, and of course, those most human of needs, cleansing and forgiveness. Before his ascension, Jesus reminded his disciples that he came to fulfill the scriptures, the prophets, and the Psalms. It's a pity that many churches seem to have sidelined the Psalms, relegated them, and often replaced them, if replaced them at all, with platitudinous and repetitive choruses, which have almost none of the glory of their predecessors. It is often the older members of our churches who feel the closest attachment to the Psalms, and that is hardly surprising. Many had to learn them off by heart in Sunday schools, and all have seen enough of life to realize the beauty and deep relevance of the psalmist's words. I remember reading about Jews at Auschwitz reciting the psalms on their final walk, using their last breath to praise God. At funerals even today, there is still an expectation that the 23rd psalm will be sung we're all familiar with it, and with the words of Psalm 24, lift up your heads, O gates. Presbyterians adore what they call the old hundred. I suspect we all have a favorite. Mine is the old form words of Psalm 51. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Psalm 150 is a simple and pure celebration of God a concluding reminder that we all exist to glorify God no matter what, and suggests we make a great noise while doing it. A bizarre concept, given that I am talking to you today from a church with only two socially isolated men in it. But try intermingling today's psalm with our present discomforts, and the majesty of God is revealed. The UK now has over 40,000 dead from coronavirus, but praise the Lord. Our churches are closed to public worship, but praise him in his sanctuary. Our economy is in trouble, but praise him in his mighty firmament. We have no idea what the future holds, but praise him for his mighty deeds. Our organ is silent and singing is banned, but Praise him with trumpet sound. Today, all over the world, clergy will be struggling to explain the divine mystery of the Trinity. And deep and complex will be many sermons on the subject. The psalmist didn't have that problem. His relationship with God was simple. And if we can accept the triune nature of God through the words of Jesus, then we won't have that problem either. The final words of the psalmist don't fade away in respectful silence, and nor should ours. They shout out for all creation in celebration of God. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. 
almighty and everlasting God, who has given unto us your servants by the confession of a true faith to acknowledge the glory of the eternal Trinity and in the power of the divine majesty to worship the unity. We pray that you would keep us steadfast in faith and evermore defend us from all adversities who lives and reigns one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts of your Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, who died for our sins, and the Holy Spirit, who today guides and aids those seeking to obey your commands. Look with mercy upon the people of this parish. Bless those suffering from illness, oppression, or isolation. Bless those who keep contacts going, and those who feed, shop for, and enliven the elderly. Bless the members of the select vestry who still do all they can to ensure the normal work of the parish continues. Bless Brian, our rector, for his leadership, guidance, and humor in these stress-filled times. We ask this in the name of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. <laughs> 